Hi there everybody, welcome to episode two of The Home Truths. What I'm going to do today is talk about knowing versus knowing knowing and in particular I want to make reference to the difference between the two states, the potential dangers of confusing the two uh, from unfortunately some of my, some of my own uh, previous mistakes um, but also as well the um, ways in which I feel that we can determine for ourselves where we are in that regard. So I guess the first thing I'd want to do is just quickly define what I mean by those two states. So when I refer to knowing, I am meaning basically where we've heard a truth uh, externally uh, from ourselves, let's say either through a person we've been speaking with or a spirit, who a person who we can't see, has impressed upon us a feeling or they've mentioned something to us. Um, and then when I refer to knowing knowing, I'm referring to something that we categorically 100% know to be a definite truth that we've absorbed into our own soul, into our heart. Um, not through any real external kind of uh, influences, more just uh, what we've determined ourselves for our own experience and with our own connection with God. I have realized that I've kind of fallen down in two uh, main areas in relation to this. Uh, the first one being that I've uh, heard external truth uh, taught by Jesus and Mary. And I thought at the time that I absorbed it into my heart and I knew what they were talking about when really um, later on down the line I've realized like that I've only really heard it here and it's just in my mind. And the second area is where let's say for example I've um, been uh, watching Divine Truth material again and I received like a really strong feeling and when I receive that feeling, I'm like, oh yeah, this is feeling like I'm absorbing this. It kind of feels like that. When I've realized now that a lot of that time, it's kind of been my spirit friends giving me their feeling or their confirmation of something that Jesus or Mary are teaching to be true because of they've had that experience in their life. And I've kind of find it difficult in differentiating sometimes between my own actual feelings and also uh, spirits feelings around me. Now in both of those two areas, unfortunately for me, I've kind of like thought that it was me absorbing uh, the truth into my heart uh, rather than it being either of those two situations. And in my facade, I was like, oh yeah, you know, I know that, and off I went, you know, thinking I was Jesus or something. <laughs> There's a danger in that I found through my own experience, and that is, you know, we really, like, can go off and say a lot of things in that space that are actually untrue and actually cause a lot of damage to not only ourselves but other people. If I'm thinking or believing that I know things that I don't yet actually know in my heart, there comes a point where I basically get stuck and like I'm not understanding certain things and certain things aren't working out for me. Um, that usually happens. Um, however, in comparison to that, I found that when I actually do absorb a truth into my heart, there's instantly this feeling of joy um, that, that comes up within me. But also as well, there's this added uh, feeling that I feel, and that is when I actually fully absorb a truth or part of a truth, it kind of spurs me on to uh, seek for more truth. So it kind of builds on itself and I think that's one of the whole joys in kind of receiving truth and learning it because when we receive a bit of a truth, it totally opens our minds to all of these different potentialities that we couldn't see before. So if that is happening to us, I think for me, it's like confirmation to me that I'm on the right track. But if it doesn't, 
it's a good sign I've realised that I've probably kidded myself somewhere in the past. <laughs> I've heard Jesus and Mary share many times on a number of their Divine Truth videos that uh, many people overseas, so people who aren't living in Australia listening to Divine Truth, uh, many people believe that they understand Divine Truth principles and things like that when really they don't really and in my own experience I can say that that has been true for me in some regards like uh, fortunately for me I have received a lot of um, feedback from Jesus and Mary good uh, good feedback but also feedback that I didn't really necessarily like myself because I got some of the good feedback I kind of like rested a bit and I was like, oh, well, I don't think what they're saying applies to me because I've received some good feedback and I've kind of tended to ignore the things that feel uncomfortable for me. Like, I'm not saying this happens, it's happening for everyone overseas, but there is a big difference I found when I was actually spent time with both Jesus and Mary, but also uh, some other of the guys who spend a lot of time with Jesus and Mary themselves. And it is a totally different experience to actually being around that environment and being hit by the, like these truth arrows all the time, like 24 by seven, um, it is very different. And I think those of us who live overseas, we kind of really have to be just careful and to really consider um, certain things. However, I think that there is even an issue in us wanting to know, know everything like not in the in the sense like a child does and they just like asking so many questions and are being inquisitive and kind of just want to know more in a way of like from an arrogant perspective like oh yeah I've heard that I know that to be true that's it like it's totally opposite because when we are like that and have that approach it doesn't like spur us on and give us that joyful feeling to then learn more things. It actually shuts us off to learning more stuff. And this is a trap that I fell in myself a lot. Like God knows all truth in the universe because God created the universe and everything within it. So, you know, God does know the, the truth. It is absolute from God's perspective. Whereas for us, because we're all finite, like we're kind of learning one thing and then another thing and although we are learning truth it's foolish of us i've been realizing because i've done this myself to then think we know everything there is to know on a specific topic one truth leads to another truth and then to another truth and to another truth it never just finishes at any point it's like there's always more things to learn and I think that's one of the big misconceptions on earth. Um, you know, I've done it myself, um, particularly as well in, you know, the holy books that are around, like the Bible, for, for example, where, you know, people believe that that is the word of God, like the word of God is written in a physical book. Like that's physically impossible. Like there's no way that a book can ever fully like contain all of God's truths for us to say that it's like again us not understanding I feel like how God really is and God's actual nature so I'm basically learning that I can never know know anything there is to know on any specific subject there's always something more to learn on anything and there's always more knowledge to be acquired in any specific area and if we aren't like flexible and humble enough to that and we maintain our rigid uh, beliefs and how we believe truth to be i feel like that will massively like stop our own growth and joy um, like in that very moment we do act in that way but also of course later on down the line we just always have to just remain open to the possibility of anything and consider anything that comes to us like I think the more we do learn about divine truth and grow towards God, the more we will be like that. Although we are learning more and are knowing more stuff, it actually makes us be more open to other things rather than, rather than less. So yeah, thank you everybody for listening and I'll see you soon.